My name is Jim Dorenzis. Uh, I teach at Strasburg High School. Today we're here at Cherry Valley National Wildlife Refuge. I'm here with my, so a few of my students from Strasburg High School, my PA wildlife class and um, ecology class, and we're releasing some rainbow trout fry fingerling, um, into uh, Cherry Creek. process is first we had to find a sponsor for the classroom, the trout in the classroom. So we have the local chapter of Trout Unlimited to thank for that. Back three years ago that supplied us with a grant to help get all the equipment. We have some consumables that we need to order every year and other than that we get from the uh, Fish and Boat Commission. This year we have rainbow trout. Years past we have worked trout. Uh, so whatever they feel comfortable supplying us with is what we'll go with. Typically in years past we've gotten eggs. This year because of COVID they gave us some fry um, and a little later in the year we got them at the January um, instead of October. Raising them ever since. This year has been a great year for us. In years past we have little water quality issues that we'd have to remediate but I don't know if it's because it's my third year in the program and we're kind of getting it down but we had no hiccups at all. Water quality was good. I think it brings a level of excitement to the class. I try to find other ways to do it, but there's just a little different atmosphere when the kids are actively participating and engaged in raising and caring for an animal in the classroom. It just kind of brings what we are learning in the classroom together, you know, in, the, in that hands-on type atmosphere, and then they get to enjoy seeing them and it's and it's, you know a lot of times they bring in friends that are in the class that want to see what's happening and that's always good to see too i'm pretty popular in the school itself and where students i don't even have will pop into the room and check out what's happening or in a study hall that i have would you know be asking questions and learning about it just by seeing what's going on there that's always nice to see